All right, welcome to this optional uh, session on the normal equation. Yeah. Remember, we've seen gradient descent. What we do is we define a cost function and then we minimize the function by doing gradient descent. But there is a direct way, a closed form of finding the W's by solving the equation. Yeah. So let us let us uh, here y, uh, define y predict is W transpose x. Huh? This is the multivariate case. And let us define the error. Remember, we have the mean squared error. Yeah, let's call that error E. And le let's take the L2 norm. Uh, we've seen that in linear algebra. And we know that the L2 norm is transpose times the vector equals the vector times, times transpose. Yeah, we've seen that. In this case, uh, this would mean we're going to use this one. You know, this would mean that we have W transpose X minus the real Y transpose and then W transpose X minus the real Y. Uh, this is exactly what we applied here. Now we're going to do some algebra, right? So this is W transpose X transpose minus Y transpose and we do that times times W transpose X minus Y. Yeah? And again, we're going to do some algebra. And remember that AB transpose is B transpose A transpose. And yeah, don't forget to flip. So in this case, we have, oh, let me see that I have a bit more room. This times that, it's uh, W. Sorry, so I need to swap as X transpose W times W transpose X. Okay, that times that. And then we have uh, minus Y, this one, minus Y uh, X transpose W, you know, is this times that. And then we have minus y transpose w transpose x, this is this one, and then minus y transpose y. Okay? So, so what we're going to do, well first of all, yeah, we need to, if we want to find the w's, uh, we need to, to uh, uh, take the gradient yeah, and put it uh, equal to zero. Yeah? Um, but this here, this here we're going to drop. Why? Because there's no W in there. So if we're going to take the derivative, it's going to be zero. Okay? So let's say the, so the derivative uh, of W of this error, eh? of the error, derivative of the error equals and this W transpose W uh, W times W transpose that's actually this here right L2 norm okay so um, so this then becomes um, if I derive the two comes to the front so it's two X transpose X W yeah then minus Y X transpose W minus Y transpose Y transpose W transpose X yeah and this we set to zero Okay, now this here, you see it's basically the same term, it is just the transpose, yeah? So here we can uh, write this as minus 2 and then we take this one, uh, uh, y x transpose 
W. And we just pick one. We need to make sure we need to make sure that the dimensions are okay. Yeah. Um, so the gradient of the error equals. Let me put it this way: is uh, two x transpose x w minus two y x transpose w equals zero. That means that, so I can uh, take the twos away, twos are out, yeah? So, and I want to separate this w here, yeah? So, if I put uh, w separately, then we have, so I need to multiply with the inverse of uh, this, yeah? And I bring this to the other side, okay? So I'm going to do the inverse first. Is uh, x transpose x inverse. Huh? This is if I bring uh, this to there. And then my, um, yeah. Now I need this. Uh... So here the w disappears. Okay, I'm a bit uh, confused here. Okay, this is the gradient. And here again, this W needs to go. Sorry about that. This W needs to go because I have taken the derivative. Okay? So, this W needs to go. Yeah? And we have uh, X transpose X. Uh, inverse times x transpose y. Okay? And this is how we derive the normal equation. Yeah? So basically what you do is you just calculate your w's. Yeah? Of course, um, it can be very tricky, eh? especially if you're uh, in high dimensions, you have x transpose x. Yeah, so it can be a lot of a lot of calculations. That's why it's optional. And I just wanted to show you that we can derive this formula. The reason why I explain it here is we're gonna try to do something similar for logistic regression, but we will see that it actually doesn't uh, work that well.